I'm Michael Fox, and this is the Prospector News Podcast. And I have joining me today, Robert McDonald, the VP of Exploration of Equity Metals. Welcome to the podcast, Robert. Thank you for having me, Michael. Yes, it's uh, good to have you. Uh, today, we're going to talk about Equity Metals. Um, equity is a company that I that fell into you guys' lap uh, a number of years ago that uh, I used to follow with the old ownership uh, very closely. And I... Uh, I thought you guys had a nice little diamond in the rough with this and uh, and really excited with the work you've done and and moving this project uh, forward since you've taken over. Uh, but for our listeners who aren't familiar as I am with Equity Metals, uh, let's give them the, uh, the quick 10,000 foot view. Okay, thank you very much, Michael. Um, so Equity Metals is a project that our group assumed management of in 2019, and we started actively exploring some of the uh, some of the projects in 2020. Uh, it has a number of different assets in the company. The flagship is our Silver Queen project located in central British Columbia. That has been our main focus of work on the project. Uh, we have some diamond uh, projects, uh, two diamond projects in the Lac de Gras area of the Northwest Territories. We've done some minimal work on uh, on one of the projects, and then we uh, uh, we are, we are uh, where we are the operator. And in the the second project, uh, the, a different company is uh, is the operator of the of the project. We have a silica project in Saskatchewan as well, as we have a one percent royalty on uh, on a project. Project in the uh, in the Greenwood area uh, in in southern British Columbia, but the main focus of our work with the company is our Silver Queen project. It is the flagship. Uh, it's the project that uh, we we've been focusing all of our drilling efforts on uh, over the uh, over the over the last four years. Um, when we first assumed management of the uh, of the company, uh, the the previous management had just reported a uh, nominal um, gold and silver enriched resource on the project of uh, around thirty nine million silver equivalent ounces. Uh, we assumed management. We continued drilling on the project, uh, and in late 2022, we're able to revise the mineral resource estimate of the project up to 85 million silver equivalent ounces uh, in the indicated and inferred categories. Around two thirds of that is in the indicated category. One third is in the, is in the uh, the inferred category. And so that was a, a pretty big milestone. It effectively doubled the mineral resources uh, over a two-year period of exploration on the Silver Queen project. And so we've continued to build on that. In 2023, we drilled an additional uh, 26 holes, 10,000 meters on the project. Uh, and uh, and now, uh, just recently, we, uh, we've completed another uh, 7,550 meters uh, on the project. In, uh, in in a new target area on the Silver Queen uh, property. The objective of the work that we have here uh, is to continue the expansion of mineral resources and to build the mineral resources from the 85 million silver equivalent ounces that we've identified on the project in 2022 and expand that to 120 million silver equivalent ounces. Uh, there's a number of different uh, targets on this uh, on on the property, and we've been systematically uh, drilling, identifying targets, and then drilling out the targets, with the intent of being able to increase that mineral resource. I've been really admiring the plan that's gone into this, where the previous management, yeah, they they they. They drilled their their main core really well, but you know there wasn't much of a plan to expand that, and that's what I like about what you're doing. Now you just had some drill results come out. Uh, let's talk about those. Where was those drilled compared to previous drill results, and what are the results, and what did you learn from it? Yes, the, um, uh, the the previous areas where we drilled, there were there were four main target areas uh, that we brought into the mineral resource. The largest vein on the property is the number three 
uh, deposit. That's where much of the historical work and and some previous development, uh, specifically in the 80s and the 70s and the 80s, that's where much of the uh, the, the, the historical work on the project uh, was completed and was actually the basis of the earlier mineral resource by previous management. Um, we, when we took over the project, we saw that there was additional drilling in an area called the NG3 uh, uh, target, uh, and then also in the camp uh, uh, target, and an area that we uh, that that we combined several smaller targets into what we call this uh, this fencing target. Much of our uh, drilling in uh, uh, 2020 to 2022 were in these areas, the NG3, the Svensson and the camp, and each of those have developed into their own, uh, you know, deposits. And really what we were, what we, what we were able to do is identify areas where uh, previous management over, you know, uh, two or three decades had drilled into areas, but they hadn't been able to uh, model them into mineral resources. And, you know, quite specifically at the camp deposit, there was historical drilling, about 40 drill holes in the camp deposit. We came in, uh, we drilled our own 40 or, or more drill holes and were able to model that into a series of veins that then became the camp deposit. Similarly, uh, we followed up on previous drilling in, uh, again, what we uh, identify as this fencing target and were able to model up several veins through going veins over around a one kilometer strike length in the, in the Svensson deposit, we're able to bring that into the mineral resources. And then same with the NG3 deposit, there was a nominal amount of mineralization previously identified in that area. We came in, we drilled uh, another, uh, you know, a dozen drill holes and were able to upgrade uh, the mineral resources in the NG3 area. And, and, and now we have the new NG3 deposit. So these were the four areas that we originally um, uh, worked on in, uh, in 2020 to 2022. Uh, there were two other areas that we started focusing on in 2023. Those were the George Lake target and the Coal Lake target. Uh, and so previous work had uh, confirmed uh, historical drilling. Uh, you know, the mineral tenure of historical drilling in each of those deposits. And so now in 2024, uh, we decided to target the George Lake area. Um, so in the drilling program that uh, that that we're uh, in the process of completing right now, we, co we completed 18 holes totaling uh, 7,500 meters of drilling in George Lake. We've te now tested the projection of the structure for uh, 550 meters in strike length, uh, drilling down to depths of, uh, of, of 250 to 300 meters below surface. Uh, and uh, are looking at extending what was a smaller zone of historical uh, of mineralization that was defined in historical drilling, uh, a full you know 500 plus meters lateral uh, in the George Lake area, and so uh, you know other areas uh, other areas that we're now focusing on is then uh, in the net in this latest part of, uh, of our drill program is to get back into the camp deposit area and continue to pick away at areas that can be uh, built out and areas that we didn't quite get to in some of our earlier drilling. So it's a little bit of, you know, brand new drilling in the uh, George Lake and then, uh, you know, filling in some of the corners, I, uh, uh, testing some additional targets in the uh, uh, previously identified camp deposit. So the results that came out, they're all from George Lake, is that correct? They come from the George Lake area, and we were quite impressed with what we're able to do there. Um, we, we had two earlier holes, 93 and 94, which tested, uh, which had good results, and they, they, uh, they, they tested an additional 200 meter strike length on the George Lake target. The new drilling is uh, uh, drilling around these holes, and drilling down to depth and drilling, um, you know, up dip as well. And so we were able to identify uh, some very robust numbers 
uh, you know, including 8.8 uh, .8 meters of 324 gram per ton silver equivalent. This is, you know, roughly equal amounts of gold and silver mineralization uh, with some uh, uh, good base metal components, lead and zinc primarily. We had uh, another interval of 9.1 meters of 321 uh, grams per ton silver equivalent. Again, uh, a very strong precious metal bias with gold and silver and some base metals uh, in the in that intercept. And uh, again, in uh, in our whole 106, you know, we've again hit uh, 2.3 meters estimated true thickness of uh, of 244 grams per ton silver equivalent and uh, a 2.1 meter interval of 300 and uh, uh, 52 uh, grams per ton silver equivalent. So, you know, in, in that respect, we've been able to keep up with uh, some of the historical drilling. We've been able to confirm some of that mineralization and continue expansion of those earlier hits, both up dip and down dip of the, uh, of, of the drilling uh, that we completed in 2023. So, so far, these are some great results. We're very happy with them and we're doing exactly what we need to do to continue growing mineral resources in the George Lake target. Yeah, no, those are very good results. Now, the drilling that was done, it's a combination of finding uh, and increasing the the mineral resource as well as moving some of the inferred over to uh, confirmed, right? Uh, there will be components of that. And uh, in the George Lake area, uh, we, I think we're being fairly aggressive with our uh, with our drill spacing. Much of that uh, would be adding in the uh, inferred uh, category. Uh, as we get up and back into the camp area, um, th there are some of the holes just by the nature of, of how we're setting up and drilling. Uh, there there will be some closer spacing uh, in uh, and 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 when we test. Uh, the, those particular veins. And in the camp vein, uh, there's, or the camp deposit, I should say, there's multiple veins. There's uh, about six or eight different veins uh, that we've identified uh, that, that we continue to drill out, some of them at slightly different orientations than others. Uh, so it means that when you drill out some of those, uh, you can have multiple intercepts in each, uh, in each target area. And some of that drilling will be close more closely spaced than in other parts or other veins. And so we would look at being able to upgrade uh, some of our uh, previous resources in those cases from inferred into indicated categories. Now is the drilling going on simultaneously in both Camp and George Lake, or have you wrapped up George Lake and are moving the drills to Camp now? We have wrapped up George Lake for this phase of work, and uh, we now have the drill on the uh, on on the camp uh, on the camp deposit, uh, and are now testing uh, an area to the north of the camp deposit uh, in what we call Camp North, uh, which where there was a uh, a fairly significant um, um, polymetallic uh, soil anomaly. Uh, just to the north of where we were drilling in the camp target. So um, the idea was to get the results back from the George Lake area, and then that will inform us as to where we have to drill uh, to, to follow up on uh, the, the earlier mineralization I, or the mineralization identified in our earlier 2024 drilling. Uh, and so we want to get assays back, do some additional modeling. And as I say, that will inform where we want to go back in the fall uh, to, uh, to, to continue drilling on the George Lake, uh, the George Lake structure. Uh, similarly, uh, you know, we, we, are, we, we have done that analysis in the camp deposit. And so now some of the drilling that we're doing now is following up from earlier drilling, 2023 drilling in the camp deposit, and uh, as I say, filling in some gaps uh, that we've identified uh, in the camp deposit there. Okay, and are all the results back from George Lake, or are you still waiting for more sale results there? Oh, we're still waiting on, uh, on many more results. Uh, we've published results from five 
different uh, di different drill holes right now. There are 18 holes completed in George Lake. So there's, you know, assays from 13 additional holes uh, that are pending. Uh, we've now unfortunately hit this time of of, of the year uh, where uh, many of the, the projects that are a little bit further north or maybe in the mountains, uh, you know, in and around our project areas, uh, that they're now coming on stream and are now uh, delivering their samples to the assay labs. So uh, turnaround to slow down a little bit. Uh, so uh, we, we anticipate assay results over the coming uh, couple of weeks, uh, but things have slowed down a little bit in, turn of assay, in, in terms of assay turnaround. Uh, but we would anticipate over the coming weeks and, uh, and months uh, to be able to um, uh, uh, publish the balance of the assays uh, from the George Lake target area. Uh, and as I say, that will then inform our new targeting in the fall of uh, 2024 on the George Lake target. Yeah, and that'll be exciting because the early results from the first five holes have been uh, been pretty good. If we get that kind of a result for the uh, remaining 13, that will uh, it should uh, bode well for uh, for future drilling on that part of the area. Uh, so I, let's move uh, over to the camp where the drilling is now under go being undertaken. Uh, how many holes and how deep are we looking at going there? Uh, yeah, so we've identified uh, six different holes. It'll be a total of uh, 2,500 meters. So that will bring the entire program, uh, you know, uh, up and up until um, you know about now uh, to just over 10,000 meters. Uh, but yeah, we've identified, uh, we, we, we've, we've planned six holes. Uh, five of them are now complete. Uh, we're, uh, we're, we're drilling sort of the last hole right now. And uh, uh, then we will uh, down tools uh, for, the, uh, for the balance of August and then start up again in September once we've had time to digest and model the results. Outstanding. And those holes were more infill, trying to uh, fill in the blanks of what you already know, correct? There's uh, Yes, uh, it's doing that. But there are a couple of areas where we had, uh, you know, some anomalies that were on the periphery of, uh, of, of uh, some of the previously identified veins. So there are a couple of areas where we are going to be extending uh, some veins uh, either to depth or laterally, or uh, if there's a drilling gap that we're filling in some of these drilling gaps and, uh, and would hope to, uh, uh, again, bring additional resources into the, uh, into the camp deposit. And then, of course, uh, in the camp north, that's an area, it's a brand new target area. And so, you know, we're keeping our fingers crossed uh, that we're able to identify some mineralization there that will form the basis of brand new drilling uh, in, the, in that area in the fall of 2024. Well, definitely lots to look forward to as, uh, as the summer winds down and we head into the fall period and you're in a good area where you can work through the fall. So uh, there should be some more uh, results by the end of the year. Uh, people want to follow you and follow the work that's been going on and how the company's progressing. How would they do so, Robert? Uh, you can uh, uh, get, get us on our website at equitymetalscorporation.com. Uh, the ticker symbol on the uh, TSX Venture Exchange is uh, EQTY. So you can find it, you know, go on to Stockwatch or, or, uh, or, or, the, or the TSX website. Uh, TMX website and uh, and follow us uh, follow us that way uh, and uh, as I say you can go on to our website and then uh, and then sign up and we and for our uh, news news release uh, distribution uh, you can also follow us on social media we have a presence uh, in Instagram and uh, uh, and on X uh, so we can be followed there as well. Outstanding. I look forward to uh, seeing the results from uh, the rest of George Lake and from camp as uh, as we progress. And I hope to have you back on uh, when we see uh, what those pictures tell us. Excellent. Thank you very much, Michael. I look forward to it and have yourself a great day. You too, Robert. Thank you for joining me. Equity Metals is a paid sponsor of the Prospector News. The host owns shares bought at the market for investment purposes.
The Prospector News Podcast is for educational purposes only. The opinions expressed are those of the participants and are not to be taken as investment advice. Listeners need to do their own due diligence and seek advice of a licensed investment advisor.